this is quite interesting. Uh, for me, I, I wanted to understand the, the whole picture of things. As an engineer, it was very easy for me to see the, the detailed part, design a bridge, these are the parts, this is the loads that are required uh, for X, Y, and Z, and these are the factors of safety. Everything is there, follow the rules, see the item you're designing for, and design and build. Uh, but then, uh, then you move on to the policy context, which is very different if you're dealing with something like water, because then you deal uh, with issues of rules and how they allow for development of institutions and institutional arrangement and the issues that come about and how to even change policies or to move policies in given directions. Uh, and uh, this also has complexities in itself. And then I looked into, again, beyond a, in my PhD, I looked at um, now the social side of water, how, how the social side of basic infrastructure in general and how people take it up and how practitioners get challenges in implementing these infrastructures. So because of these multiple perspectives of looking at uh, one sector, uh, in general, basic service provision, so this would include water, sanitation, solid waste, mobility, and electricity. So when you look at it, then you realize that this is not a problem that can be solved by engineers alone, for example, mm -hmm. or by entrepreneurs alone, but it's actually a problem that needs concerted effort. And uh, when you have a problem that needs concerted efforts, then it means that you have to take an approach that appreciates complexity. And system thinking is this kind of an approach that really appreciates uh, the complexity that is there, even in solving water alone. Because when we mention wash, then we mention three things at the same time. And of course, there are many discussions that these three things are connected uh, mostly by health, but then they can also be conceptually connected more by how they are done. For example, the transport uh, system in on-site sanitation is pretty much a logistics problem. And it's much more connected to maybe the transport uh, aspect of solid waste as it is than it is connected to water. And sometimes you also have other different kinds of, of connections that come in that only an approach that appreciates this kind of complexity can, can, can sort of handle. Uh, but then this is also very different to translate to practitioners. Because when you view it uh, in a conceptual sense from that aspect, then you still have to go to the practitioner. For example, rural water supply network and tell them, uh, yes, it's good to approach things from a systems perspective, but then they will ask you what exactly is a system and where do I fit in in that system? How do I influence something, for instance? Because you find um, a system may have about seven key aspects. Uh, depending on the literature you read, of course, there are others who group it much more differently. But in the end, it's uh, people, rules, places, the money side of aspects, uh, the money side of, 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 of the system where the money comes from, and a number of others. But all these interact, and eventually you find about 35 problems that a practitioner needs to sort of solve. Mm -hmm. So it's just this understanding that these exist that is really needed for, yeah. the, for the practitioners from a point of view. And then place yourself in the context. If you are really dealing with water alone, then understand that water in itself connects all of them. And it also connects outside its own system, not just source to supply, source to household, but also connecting with health, connecting with sanitation, connecting with food, the so-called nexus. You have a lot of them right now, eh? but it's really connections of more than one systems. That's mm. what we really call a nexus idea. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>